Hi, I'm Lucky, and today we are back on King Legacy. They've released some brand new sneak peeks, and today I'm going to be checking them all out and a little additional information that you guys may not have known about the upcoming long anticipated update. What is it? <laughs> what update is it going to be? I don't know what update is going to be. I think it's going to be update 7. It does look like it's going to be a very big update. Big update, though. I can't lie, it's going to be worth the wait. Hopefully, all that and more coming out in this video. Um, but yeah, before we get into the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Roll to 20k subs. And yeah, <laughs> I just think that's it. Let me get right into the video. <laughs> okay, so quickly, I just want to mention to you guys really quickly why I'm kind of like off and on on YouTube because my last update was over like a week old. <laughs> um, I have been doing uh, some. Okay. <laughs> I have been doing. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> Yo, the players in this game is so weird, bro. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I have been, I am at university, if you guys didn't know, I am undergoing a uh, double major in computer science and management. So as you may imagine, I am very busy and it's kind of challenging balancing both my YouTube life and my university, my education, whatever the case would be, but I'll work to suit. But you guys did click on this video to hear about my sad story about me being a very lazy student. You guys clicked on this video to see the brand new sneak peeks that came out a while ago that i just didn't make a video on i didn't really see much people make a video on it either so a i'll take advantage of this opportunity One, so first of all there is a new um gacha system that's going to be coming to king legacy i am assuming i'm not too sure i haven't really read into this too much but yeah i guess we'll see the um the new specific rules for the gacha system uh, when they uh, do get implemented before the upcoming update so yeah that's all we know about it right now uh, I guess that has to do with games such as like Pet Simulator S or Pet Simulator 99. Uh, my bad. I don't really play those games anymore. But anyway, sneak peeks. So there's been a number of sneak peeks that I missed. I think the last sneak peek I did was probably the Buddha sneak. And by gosh, that was so long ago. Not gonna lie, I'm starting to move towards more tower defense games. You guys may, you guys may know I, do, I start more tower defense content now. But uh, it's still pretty cool though. It's still pretty cool. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll check it out, especially since I'm getting a new um, system. I know for sure that I am going to be doing more King Legacy content as well as my other content as well. So you guys can see here, there's been a dash. Some people, this is a dash sneak peek. Some people have been speculating that we could be seeing more combo uh, moves coming to the game. So people have been speculating that this is going to be Garp's um, combat. I think is I think this might be Superhuman in blocks, which I think is what Garp uses. I don't. Not too sure, but uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool to see in King Legacy because, realistically speaking, as a as a content creator who's been making King Legacy content for well over a year now, uh, or probably even two years, three years probably actually, yeah, three years actually, I've been making King Legacy content for three years, yeah. Uh, you guys may know that King Legacy's PvP system is it's starting to, you know, what I mean, get a little more comboy, so. That would be nice to see. This sneak peek took me by surprise though. I wasn't expecting to see this uh, rework come out yet. But we did get ourselves a control fruit rework. Which is actually really cool. I did not expect to see this. It looks pretty clean, pretty smooth. It doesn't look laggy at all. Um, it does look like it's going to be mobile friendly for sure. Yeah, it does look like it's going to be mobile friendly for sure. I can't let you. So there's room. And then this is this is not dismantled. This is just, uh, I, I don't know what this is. Demolish maybe? I, I don't know. Or it could be called Rocked or something. I don't. I don't know. But yeah, pretty cool though. It does look like one individual move, and then he uses another move, and then yeah, yeah, cool. It does look like he's two individual different moves. So pretty cool. And then here is the one uh, sense. Uh, you weren't getting a pretty good look at it on the Twitter. Okay. <laughs> and then the last sneak peek we did get was this. Uh, do I think they should add this to the game? No. Let me just explain why real quick. Oh, God, that Mobby Taste is so good. All my Bajans, all my Caribbean people know how good Mobby Taste <laughs> Mobby Taste is amazing. Um, but anyways, so it does look like you are going to be able to customize your dragon farm. So usually in block suits, you could just like fly through a hoop or whatever the case would be. And then that would be your specific color or whatever the case would be at different points in the map. This one, it does look like you have to obtain different titles for dragon. And I think this is only going to be available with Dragon V2. So what I'm assuming, you guys can see the little dragon model behind here, the dragon snake model. This armor, this flame, this ice, this horn, this here. Yeah, this is most definitely going to be related to this sneak peek out here. Hold up. 
it wasn't this one. It was this one here. It was this one here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It's most definitely going to be related to this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, PC struggling to handle this. This is why I need a new piece, a uh, new laptop, by the way. But yeah, that does. Yeah, this is Dragon V2. Dragon V2 is most definitely coming to the game then, because if it's a case, that's the roar, right? That has to be V2 roar. If it's a case that you're going to be cut, be able to customize your dragons like this, like this is only for dragons, because I don't think any of the dragon, any of the dinosaur models have horns. They have a body, of course, but this, you know what I mean? That was only for the dragon. Not seeing anything here. For, yeah, this is literally only dragon colors. So, you know what I mean? I think that Dragon V2 is something that we should be looking forward to coming to King Legacy of the 7 for sure. But yeah, I do think that's all these sneak peeks. We got Buddha V2, Dragon V2, Garps, uh, Fight Itself, maybe, possibly. Control V2. And then, obviously, again, Dragon V2, the sneak peek for Dragon V2. I only think this is going to be available when you unlock Dragon V2. Uh, I just say hope is like that. I hope it isn't something that you're just, like, adding for, you know what I mean? For the sake of <laughs> being able to customize your own Dragon. That'd be kind of dumb, just having it on the base Dragon V1. But, uh, yeah, I do think that is all the sneak peeks. But, yeah, though, guys, I do think that is going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about the new sneak peeks for update 7 me personally i do think king legacy is cooking uh some information I did get about the dev himself the head developer of the game he usually just goes the other developers so the game is kind of off and on you feel me and i think i understand why because there's a lot of competition out there but the truth is if you don't update your, update your game you can't compete so you do need to draw updates to be able to compete and all that good stuff but yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, you guys want to see more King Legacy content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.